So I think the, the biggest thing that people may get wrong about flooring installation is that trades don't pay well. And I'm here to tell you that is a complete lie. There is great money to be made in flooring. Is it hard? Yes, but you can build yourself a very comfortable lifestyle and provide for your retirement. You can you almost get six figures your first year, if not your second or third. It is, um, it is that quick um, because they, it is not that difficult to learn flooring. It really isn't. It is just hands-on and actually doing it. And once you do it, you have it for life. When I realized that the guy who uh, who taught me about floors, like this guy made 200 grand a year legally, and that that was like, okay, well if he can make 200 grand a year legally, then that that was the route that I need to be in because I, I didn't know of a, a industry that paid that much or that I had access to be able to make that type of cash. It has provided a life for my family that I really didn't think that we would have when I was younger because I, I, we grew up really poor, you know, my mother was a single mom and um, that's why I started working when I was 12 so that way I could buy my own school clothes and stuff like that and to be able to have my kids and provide my kids things that I wasn't able to to have when I was a kid um, is all because of the floor covering industry. And it's it's a it's a very uh, lucrative career. If you do it well, you can make very good money. You can be your your own boss, um, and you can do quite well. You can move on to running your own crews, maybe even starting your own flooring company. So to, to people that are, that would like to get into this, I've I've lived in Vegas. I've lived all over this country. And I've never had a problem. I've always found a job within a day of moving wherever I've gone. You can go anywhere in this country, anywhere in the world, and you'll always have a job if you're a flooring installer. I would tell you the opportunity is phenomenal. And if you draw a comparison to what your peers might be doing, where they're driving up consumer debt, student debt, uh, you have an opportunity within weeks, maybe months, to be making money where they're paying money. So I, I like to install floors and so definitely it's what I love to do and I like to help people to get their home beautiful. Uh, well, I mean, it actually gave me a skill and, and um, a way to just um, be valuable no matter where I go. Um, a sense of pride working with my hands and, and having a finished product that I can look back at at the end of the day is just it's a lot more um, satisfying than working a, a job where you maybe you not, might not see the end goal every day. The thing I love most about working in the flooring industry is being able to work with my hands and transform a job site and in most cases it ends up making a difference to people and their homes and how they interact with it. Just lay a carpet, it's, it's just fun. It's a fun thing to do. It's, it's, it's when you step in someone's house and you change it from when it's like ugly and then you come in and it's all nice and pretty when you leave. It's it's a satisfaction in that. That's that's almost what pays for it. And I absolutely love um, the complexity of tile and how it's really um, a finished product that there's a lot of attention to detail, um, which reminds me of, you know, working with my grandfather in the wood shop. Very much finishing pieces so they can see that even women can do this type of job too, not because uh, some guys comes and be like, um, you can do this, this is mainly for male uh, job, can do this, uh, this is too hard for you, you should try to do something else or office. Um, no, this is, even women can try and do this type of job. You're going to be able to find that you can allow your creativity to let loose. Um, you have carpet, you have resilient, you have hard surface, wood. There's a lot of different materials out there that you can find a niche and, and try to master your craft. Um, if you're able to find a niche and you're able to specialize in that, um, by all means, go, go at it, do it. Because you're gonna find that there, there's plenty of art involved in that specific niche. There's plenty of art involved in anything you can do in flooring. Even the simplest of jobs, is it takes a little bit of artistic effort in it. If you want to go into this field if you're good with your hands and you have um, it's more than just a talent for building it's an artistic talent also 
because the people in our industry that are great really are artisans and they take that flooring and they can turn it into really beautiful things. And so if that's who you are, then you want to consider this because the, the pay is good, you can build a good business with this, and you could become important to an industry that, that needs people. I feel great when I see how my job done, and so definitely it's the most important part for me. A, a lot of people that maybe aren't comfortable in school, it's definitely a, an outlet to be creative and be able to maybe hold your own in this world when you aren't necessarily, um, I don't know if it's the right word, studious. Um, I, you know, I did not enjoy school, but I always enjoyed shop class and home ec and all of those things. And I think if you can make money at something that you're good at, there's a lot of self-confidence that comes with that, you know, that you might have lost in school if you weren't super good at school or, or weren't comfortable there. But the guys you work with, they're going to be your tribe, you know, it's like a brotherhood. It's a good feeling accomplishing a job with other people. It's definitely made me more confident in myself because of the things that I can do now, like, um, you know, working in a factory is what I did before, and it's not really a rewarding job like doing flooring is. So once I, you know, finish a job, it's like, okay, I did that job start to finish. Um, I ran a job, you know, I was able to talk to everyone, figure things out, and so I think that that has definitely um, helped build my leadership uh, qualities. There's a lot of options. It's, you can become an estimator at that point because now, you just become even invaluable to the owners um, because you can see problems before they even happen. Um, there, it's not just being a flooring installer. There's multiple routes you can take within the industry. And so if you're if you're looking if you're looking for for a sustainable career and something that's going to grow, man, flooring installation, where where we're at right now and where we we need to be at in ten years, and the amount of people we need to fill that gap is, is, is tremendous, tremendous, absolutely. So if I'm looking to get involved with something where I know I'm gonna have a nice long career, floor covering's a great place to do it. I traded up. I traded up. I traded up. I traded up, and you can too. I traded up, you can too. Get up, get out, trade up. Troque seu trabalho por a carreira de piso. Yo trabajo en pisos y tú también puedes. Trade up today. Trade up. You won't regret it. You won't regret it. You won't regret it. I trade it up. 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 So can you. And so can you. I trade it up. And so can you.